Today on the podcast, we are honored to welcome Professor T.G. Sitara, Chairman of the All India Council for Technical Education and Geotechnical Consultant for the iconic Chinabit. From underground complexities to sky high challenges, he helped make engineering history. And today, we join us to share that journey. Sir, welcome. Namaskar. Uh, sir, US BRL project इससे आप कब जुड़े और इसके बारे में आपने सुना तो कैसा लगा हाउ इज योर एक्सपीरियंस हमारे साथ शेयर करें इट्स इट्स वन ऑफ द मार्वलस प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच स्टार्टेड आई स्टार्टेड माय जर्नी एज अर्ली एज जनवरी 2005 फर्स्ट टाइम आई वेंट टू द साइट यू नो वी हैव टू गो इन द बोट एंड देन ट्रैक द हिल इन द बक्कल साइड सो दैट इज द काइंड देयर आर नो रोड्स नो एक्सेसिबिलिटी नथिंग देयर नॉट इवन यू डोंट सी एनी पीपल आल्सो देयर इट्स अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टेरेन and geographically also it is located in a very you know complex lot of landslides were seen there okay huge hills uh, which is mind boggling you know and at that time my job was they took me as a first from the con- the contractor of cons infrastructure limited uh, hired me as a consultant i was a professor at indian institute of science bangalore because of my expertise in geotechnical and infrastructure engineering they invited me to do the slope stability and then also identify what kind of even slope stab- slope stabilizations we need to do what kind of slopes needs to be adopted to this to place the foundation so the fundamental questions were raised for this iconic bridge which is a steel bridge looking uh, to be located at 359 meter above the river bed level of chennai look at that height you know it is much greater than even eiffel tower so yeah. this is the condition when i went there my challenge was for me is what does the kind of properties we should select for this material what kind of slope so we have to provide because when we put the foundations they should be accessible for maintenance also not only constructing for a maintenance of the future life of the bridge so these are the some of the challenges which are posed to me in the beginning because we are actually use the numerical simulators models to do the analysis because this is uh, cannot be done in the field anything you know that is the kind of a challenge which was posed to me in the initial days we went and inspected looked at the geotechnical borehole data and then all the tests which are being done were submitted to me then we have went through that then we started looking at what cross sections we should provide to house this bridge where should be the foundation even location of your uh, pier 40 pier 50 which are the major piers of this bridge okay and uh, where it should be at what height it should be and uh, how stable it will be after uh, flattening the slopes of the chinab abutments so these are the challenges which we have done numerical umpteen number of simulations using numerical models we are experts in that okay that is what we have done but let me also tell you humbly our contribution is only for the slope stability and the foundation there are thousands of engineers who are part of this project please understand there are thousands of engineers who are the part of the contributed extensively starting with the railways and then Uh, konkan railway were the contractor that time and then the the execution of the this particular bridge is the afghan infrastructure there are series of large number of engineers in afghan infrastructure and many other uh, experts who have come to the site and so it's a collective work of this particular bridge collective work of large number of engineers it's a monumental structure Okay, even in, you know it went through a lot of ups and downs, and without ambiguity, now I think the bridge is ready, and the trains are moving. And what is importance of this bridge is it connects people, you know, from Sri Nagar. Now people can travel to Jammu within three hours, three three and a half hours. Maybe. So look at that that section, the crown jewel of India, that is Jammu and Kashmir, are now connected. it can change the lives of the people this one bridge can change lives of entire people in jammu and kashmir and also its benefit for the nation so this is a that's what it touches us 
See, it, it may look like a one infrastructure building, that is the bridge, but this is more than a bridge. That's what I'll say in civil engineering. This is more than a bridge. It connects people, okay? And it is the growth aspect for the Jammu and Kashmir. Watch my word, in five years, this area is going to change when railways are going there. That's it. That's the kind of a transformational change this bridge will come. Sir, why only this bridge? There are so many bridges and tunnels. This is the bridge which is critical in that line of Udhampur, uh, Jammu, Udhampur, Srinagar, Baramulla. This is the critical bridge. There are so many bridges, though many tunnels are there. Next is Anji. It was all, I was also part of the Anji bridge as well. Okay. That is what I'm trying to This is at the highest location. Challenge is the properties of the ground is very, very weak. It's a youngest dolomitic rock with highly fissured and fractured material. Second, it is located at such a height, the winds, wind loads are so high. And it is located in zone 4 of earthquake, but we have designed it as zone 5. That means much more uh, rigorous. Uh, so earthquake also can happen very large. Okay, So it has to withstand that. So in addition to that, this is in a very difficult area. All of us know. Uh, any uh, terrorist attacks can happen. So this bridge is designed such in a unique way that it can even withstand without one of those two, three columns. You know, that's the kind of a engineering uh, aspects have gone into the design and construction of this bridge. That's why I said this is a unique bridge. And I think India has never done such a large bridge. And uh, I, I uh, first of all, congratulate railways sticking with the same location and just sticking with the same idea with a lot of deliberations and I, I can tell you in this bridge many railway engineers many uh, thousands of engineers we have to congratulate this project myself 20 years close to 20 years i worked with all my team yeah, for everyone who's involved in this project it's a monumental work and today you are only seeing the iconic bridge which is very unique in the world Chinnav Valley is a very complex and there bridge be a very difficult bridge. Yes, definitely. That's what I told you. The material, see, Chinnav Bridge, where it is located, it is the youngest mountains of the world. Yeah. Okay, Himalayan geology is the youngest one. So it is not yet consolidated and you don't see hard rocks. What you are seeing there is the dolomitic which is called younger limestones, we call younger limestone dolomitic, which has large cavities also within itself. So when I even first time climbed, I saw huge cavities. You know, I asked who made this? Sir, this is natural. Okay, erosion se hota hai. Uh, wind erosion, water erosion has created such huge cavities, you know, and we have to now build a bridge and put a foundation and, and such an uncertain material because geotechnical engineering is like doctoring the ground. You know, what I said is, he is like a doctor. His information is also very limited. Okay, he has some small bore holes of 150 millimeter diameter going up to 150 meters. But the quantity of material what we have to deal with and what is the test material what we have done is very limited. So his knowledge about the ground is very limited. With that kind of a challenge, designing the slope stability and designing the appropriate sections and then foundations strengthening those foundations so that it sits on a very hard rock amazing so why because it's it involves uh, not only the excavation cuttings whatever we have to do in such a difficult terrain and then we have to grout so that the voids are completely filled up where you are going to put the foundations and then you are also anchor this foundation to the deeper rock rather than just surface. So you have cable anchors, you have dividing bar anchors, so many large numbers have been done. Grouting is been done. Okay, and then after all doing that, the slopes surfaces are also covered with short creeks, okay, with uh, tension members also as well. So in the future rain comes or even some small minor earthquakes comes, slips will not occur. Okay? 
and it is completely stable. Such minute details have been designed, taken care, constructed, and a majestic structure is in front of us today. And we are happy that you know the train passed. Honorable Prime Minister inaugurated this bridge on the 6th of uh, June and it is mind-boggling story for Indian engineers. Every student, I invite every student to visit this site. Every engineering student to visit this site. And it is, uh, even today to go to that location itself is a big challenge, you know. Katra say 40, 40, 45 kilometers you need to travel. So this is an iconic bridge. Compliments and congratulations to entire railways and entire engineers who are part of this construction. Sir, this pool ke nirmaan ke dauraan kai saari tunnels bhi aaya hai. To, sir, tunnels ka jab humne dekha ki tunnels, bhoat saari beech beech mein tunnels aa rahe hai, ek pura hissa hai tunnels se ho kar gujar raha hai. Is ke nirmaan ke dauraan kaisi jo geometrical challenges hai, ho sab aate hai. As I told you, this material what is, what you are there, चुनाव ब्रिज के फाउंडेशन के लिए इतना हमने किया है ना क्यों किया? Because material is very weak, highly fragmented, fractured, younger dolomitic rocks, okay, with lot of cavities also, lot of uncertainties also. So now you see, in the next section will be a tunnel. So to drill a tunnel in such a material is also big challenge, because it can cave any time. It has caved many projects actually. That is why the project took long time. So the challenge is even in, uh, in this uh, terrain, doing a tunnel is as big a challenge as what we have done in the slope stability. Okay? Much more challenges actually in the tunnel. So that is why this project took a long number of years. Okay? And this challenge is because of the material itself. As I told you, this, this area is the youngest mountains of the world. It is not yet formed, it has not become hard rock. See, if you go to southern part of India, it is all granitic nice, which is very hard rock. It is harder than steel sometime in compression. Okay? So you can imagine now, in this material you have to tunneling. Uh, it's a big, big challenge. And after tunneling, you have to line them so that there is no collapse. And then you have to also protect water because it's also a lot of rainwater also can gets into these hills which can come in the tunnel. So many such and then you know many other uh, features like uh, ventilation and accessibility to the tunnels. These are all big challenges in designing tunnels also. That's why I said this project is going to be a very unique project. I think it's a very big uh, credit to the nation and I think this is going to change the face of our jewel that is Jammu and Kashmir. Lot of connectivity, people connectivity will happen and it will be great, you know, to, you will see a lot of number of projects coming now, okay? Because going there was a big challenge for us. So now many people will travel, people to people connections will happen, okay? Similar kind of projects we have done under the Prime Minister's scholarship scheme, PM Triple S, Prime Minister's special scholarship scheme in AICT. We bring children of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh to main engineering colleges, give them a full fee scholarship so that we integrate people. So this bridge will help them to also go back and forth many times. Because these are students, this, this bridge is a connectivity for everybody. I think this is a great project for the nation. Thank you. Thank you this bridge is not just a fit of engineering. It is a bridge of hopes, dreams and determination for millions of Indians. It stands today as a symbol of India's engineering excellence, scientific vision and unwearing national commitment.